Okay, so. We have started eight minutes for, for our friends. So I'm going to get started first. Now, so here on the left, this is method one. Okay, the easiest method. Here's method two. The one in the middle. Okay, and last one here, here's method three. The pre-neutral one. Okay, method one, two, and three. Now, here are the clues. The clues are on the board. Okay, first of all, it's area we are looking for. The figure looks like a little bit like an L shape flip in a certain way. It's finding the area of the parameter. Number two, Make sure you have units divided square centimeters or square meters. Number three, recall formulas for squares and rectangles, length times square, or length times length. Number four, find the measurements of these missing sides first. Okay. Method two, friends. Method one, friends. And method three. Our friends are doing method one. Uh, doing method two, we may begin now. Right? Okay, we started at seven minutes. Oh, it started already? Okay. You have method two? Oh, one. Okay, ready? Everybody? Get set? Five, four, three, two, one. You may begin. Okay, writing in more books will help our friends who are a little bit unsure. Yes.
é esse Three minutes left. The clue, the clue, the clue is even the closer. You have 11 here, and then you have 7 here, and then what is this meaning? Right? This is 11, so this is 11. Okay, anybody managed to do more than one method? Oh, we will finish yours already? Not oh, yet. So I said we finish it fully. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It doesn't matter. Which method are you doing? One, two, or three? One and two. What's your answer? Okay, 20 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Okay, thumbs up. Okay, let's take a look at it. Now, method number three first. Uh, okay, method number three. If you are not method number three, that means your over here is blank. You can start copying now. Giant rectangle is this whole big rectangle here. The length is the length is 18 and the breadth is 11. So for the giant rectangle, length times breadth will be 7 plus 11, then times 11, which is 18 times 11, which will be 198 square centimeters. Then area of the shaded rectangle E is the small one. So most of us, I think, one of the challenge is to find the missing measurement here. Okay, so a reminder is this marking, this single dash marking shows they are equal. 
sides. So those are double, equal, means this is 11, this is 11, this is 7, this is 7. So I wrote in the missing measurement here. This is 4 because 11 minus 7 is 4. So for the shaded rectangle E, it should be 7 times 4, which is 28 square centimeters. Have you written it down? Have you written it down? So, area of the figure, this one that looks a little bit like a L, flipped somehow. So, area of the figure is already, the clues are already given here. The giant rectangle minus the shaded rectangle. So it will be 198 minus 28, that gives 170 square centimeters. Okay, moving on to the one in the middle. The one in the middle is method number two. I cut the shape into rectangle C and rectangle D. Rectangle C is length. 18 times breadth 11, which is 18. Oh, sorry, not 11. Rectangle C. The breadth is 7, yes. So 18 times 7. Eighteen times seven. Eighteen the length times seven. Hundred and twenty-six square centimeters. Rectangle D will be eleven times four, forty-four square centimeters. So area of the figure will be C plus D. 126 plus 44, which is 170 square centimeters. Yes. They are all 170. Is it supposed to be, is it expected that you should get all 170? Yes. Yeah. And then you have the last one that we here, the clue here, square A and square B. So A is 7 times 7, that's 49 square centimeters. B is 11 times 11, that's 121 square centimeter. And the answer will be 49 plus 121, that will be 170 square centimeters. Now, tell me, which amongst these is the easiest method? All of them, you think so, most think that all, all three I can understand. If you can say all three is easy for you, congratulations, you have mastered primary four. And you're ready for primary five. Okay? Now. Okay, tell us mistake is fine. The miscalculation error. But the method to solve it. The easiest method is, everybody, which one is the easiest here? One. Why? Yeah, because you are finding the two squares and the measurements for the both squares are provided. I don't need to look for any missing measurements. Correct? So I add up the two squares areas. Okay. Now, what is, what is the point that I'm trying to tell you here? Now you are from five. Okay? Probably five, we are starting a new chapter on the area of triangles. It is definitely a level harder than three four because we need to find shapes that don't fit into squares, corners. In squares, you see, it's like the easiest shape to measure and calculate because all sides are saying all corners 90 degrees, correct? Rectangles are a bit harder. The sides now are not always the same, right? It's a bit harder. Triangle is the one of the most difficult ones. Yes, it's half of a square, not necessary. It can also be half of a rectangle. It can be half of many other shapes, half of parallelograms. 
half of trapeziums, half of rumors. It is very challenging. And then when you go to primary six, you're going to start measuring area of circles, multiple circles, semi circles, and shapes and shapes that overlap one another. Now, here you only see shapes that either can be chopped up into two pieces or cut one into other. This is in your workbook. So congratulations, you already saw one question for tomorrow. Okay? Now, tomorrow, now look, this chapter is going to be a little bit challenging because you're going to see overlapping shapes as well. It's going to be hard. But one thing that you need to encourage yourself is there are more than one method to solve things now. Okay? That's just like we saw all my other issues. There's more than one way to pass the ball. Agree? You can just pass one pass over the pass. So there are many, many ways to solve a problem. You need to be confident and encourage yourself. And also know that see, it's possible. More than one method. Okay? Pack out the things. You have copy your homework. You have to do tomorrow. Agree? Quickly, put it inside your bag. The answers are for tomorrow's worksheet. Now, now, I'll try quickly how to fend it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, that's not for a few yeah. Oh, 